I tested every montage method in Final Cut Pro and these are the two best ways to create a montage without wasting time or destroying your computer out of frustration. Relax. I'll show you how to organize and build a montage in minutes, not hours. Then I'll show you how to make a photo montage known as a slideshow. And at the end, I'll show you how to add special titles to your montage for free. A montage is a compilation of shots meant to tell a story quickly. It condenses space, time, and information into a short period of time. Think of the beginning of Up or the sweaty workout montage of Rocky. My favorite is when Napoleon and Pedro get out the vote. Oh, I'm pumped now. Let's create a montage. All right, the first thing to do when working on a montage is organize your shots. You should go through and mark the ones you like as favorites. So, for example, I have this clip here. I like this section here, so I've selected it, and I'll press F to favorite that. It puts a green line at the top to indicate a favorite, and down here in the list, it'll put favorite under there as well. I'll select a few more, and then press add for favorite. I like this one, favorite that. I like this section. You can also favorite an entire clip. So I'll select the whole thing and press F for favorite. To unfavorite a clip, just press U for unrate. Now that I have my clips organized and I've marked them as favorites, I can click on all clips and select show favorites or press control F. This will show my favorites. Another way I can do it is by going to the library and opening up Smart Collections and selecting Favorites. Now this shows all the different favorite clips I've marked. All right, next step is to add music. I've got this song here. I'm going to use it. So I'll add it to my timeline, but I don't want it in the magnetic timeline because I want to put my videos in there for my montage. So the first thing we want to do is add some marks on beat to our song so that we can edit and cut to the beat. So I'm gonna play this song back and as it plays, I'm going to push M to add markers on the beat. But you gotta make sure the clip is selected first. Here we go. All right, that's pretty good. I missed one in here I wanna add. Right there. Okay, that's more than enough. I'm going to trim this right here by moving my playhead over and pressing Command B, selecting the next one, deleting it, and I want to do a little bit of a fade out here. So I'll grab the fade handle. There we go. Okay. To adjust these markers, you can't just click and drag on them. I wish you could, that would make more sense. If you need to move one, you can select it and you can right click on it and select cut and then move and paste it with command V. If you want to delete it, just right click on it and select delete. You can also right click on it and select modify and you can add some notes if you'd like here. But for this, I just need spots where I know I need to put a shot, okay? All right, the next step is to add those clips to our song. So I'm going to go to favorites and I'm just going to go through and look for my opening shot. I like that for my opening shot. So, but before I add that, I want to have my music out of the main timeline. So I'm going to go to the beginning of my timeline and I'll press Alt W to add a gap clip and then I'll drag and drop my song below it. I'll shorten my gap clip to this first marker. And now I'll select my clip and I'll just press E and it drops it right in to the timeline on B. Now it's a little bit long so I'm going to trim it up to this one. Now let's keep going through and we'll add our clips one at a time. Another trick you can do when you're going through your favorites is to click the triangle next to it and it'll show it if it's been used in your video yet. And so I wanna make sure that I've used each one of these. I've got all of them except this one. Ah, yes, this was my ending shot that I wanted. All right, so now let's play this back and see what it looks like.
Okay, I think it looks really good. There's a couple changes I wanna make. I think this is too short. I wanna stay on her a little bit longer. So let's try that again. Let's pull this one to here and this one there. Let's try that now. Perfect. Let's actually pull that one out and we're gonna trim off the end of our clip here and that'll be the end of our video. All right, so we've got this little story of this couple out uh, exploring the area, holding hands, being romantic, checking out flowers. It's a nice little romantic montage. So the important thing to do with montages is once you've got your clips in there, you'll want to adjust them, uh, trim them, make them longer. You may want to move them around depending on the song, the emotion of the song, and what kind of story you're trying to tell with that montage. Are you as pumped as Rocky to make a montage now? Has this video been helpful? If so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will see this video? Thanks. Coming up, I'll show you how to share your epic montage. All right, next let's make a photo montage or a slideshow. Let's add a song to our timeline and then let's add some markers to the beat. Here we go. All right, I need to add a little bit more in here. This is a high energy montage, so we're gonna add more pictures. I'm adding some of this snare beat. All right, there we go. Now, I've got my pictures already selected so we can start to add them. But first, let's put a gap clip at the beginning like before and add our song to the bottom. Let's trim up the gap clip and let's just select our photos and I'm gonna press E to add them to the timeline. They're way too long. So we'll press Control D and we'll change these down to probably about one second each. There we go. I'll zoom back in with Shift Z and now what I can start to do is arrange these pictures and match them up with the beat. I want this to be my last shot, so I'm gonna move it down here. And I wanna spice this up. I've got too many um, ocean shots right together. Uh, I guess I don't have many choices, do I? <laughs> these look good though. That's kind of a same picture. Let's get rid of that one. All right, now that I've got them in order, let's start trimming them up to the beat. Okay, I didn't have enough pictures, so I reused some of them here at the end, but they're cool enough pictures that it'll be worth looking at them again. I'm gonna trim my song down a little bit and I'm going to just fade out as well. Now, you'll notice that these pictures are mostly vertical and we're doing a 1080p video montage. So I'll select all my pictures and then under spatial conform, I'm going to select fill. Now we need to go through and recompose the shot. This one isn't very good looking that way. So I'll right click on it, select transform. If I hold down shift while I click and drag, it will constrain it to the Y axis so it won't move from left to right. I'm gonna move this one up as well. And I'll just do each picture one at a time. And once you've adjusted your images, you can just click done. Now we wanna add some cool transitions in between every once in a while. So open the transitions browser by clicking on this button and go down to, click on the stylized category and find this theme called photo album. Drag and drop the transition between a couple edit points and use, use different ones. Don't go overboard, we'll just add four of these throughout the project. I want that over here and our last one there. Okay, these are cool transitions because they look kind of like a photo collections book. And if you click on it, you'll see these little pins here. 
what that does is it adds this picture where these pins are into the transition. So here's pin one, and then where's pin two? Ah, right down here, pin two. So just click on each transition and make sure that your pins aren't in one of the pictures you're transitioning from. Does that make sense? Let's also speed these up a little bit by shortening their duration. You can do it even faster by command clicking on them, press control D and then entering a new duration. Let's try one second each. There we go. All right. Here's our video. Nice, good looking montage. All right, now that your montage is done, it's ready to share. In the upper right corner, click on the share button and then select export file. Go to settings and change the video codec to H.264 and then click next. This will be perfect for sharing online. Give it a name and then press enter and Final Cut Pro will save it and export it ready to share with the world. Before you share your montage, you should spice it up with some custom plugins. Check this out. I made a pack of titles, effects, and transitions. It's called the All-Star Pack and it's worth $138, but I wanna give it to you for free. Just click the link in the description below and you can spice up your montages with some titles. Here's one that's included in it. Go to the title browser and then after you install it, look for Stupid Raisin Social Media Thirds. Drag and drop the template to your project adjust the timing, select the title, and then use the on-screen controls to adjust it. Let's move it over here. I think the size looks good. Now you can customize the text. You can change it, put your name here. You can also put your handle in there. And if you click on the title browser, you can change everything, including colors, size of the icon and this has a bunch of different social media websites in here and we even have a custom one so if you wanted you can add your own image or logo the all-star pack comes with over 90 different templates and it's a quick way to make your videos look more professional it's a free gift i hope you enjoy it just click the link in the description below happy editing